What's up YouTube, thanks for tuning in this video. In this video, we're talking about how many RV spots can you put per acre, but first, make sure to like this video and subscribe so we get off to a good start. How many RV spots can you put per acre? That varies depending on where you are, what you're planning to do, et cetera, et cetera. But I can say just in general terms, I found that it takes usually about, with all the space and everything, 10 to 15 lots per acre is probably the maximum that you can get. Now I'm gonna talk about why, but first I need to say a forewarning. First thing you need to do is go to the county or the local governance, wherever you're at, talk with them, tell them your plans, because it's gonna vary depending on where you are. So if you're trying to start an RV park in California or Arizona, that's gonna be a lot different than Texas where I'm at. So first thing you need to do is go to your local governments and tell them what your plans are. If you're in a certain city limit, you might have restrictions on that. Whereas if you're in the county, you might have more freedom um, and you can put maybe more out there. It really depends though, but I think there are some things you need to take into consideration in terms of space. So I'll get into that right now. I would say the first thing you need to consider is a septic system. Whether you get a you know traditional septic system or an aerobic septic system, that's gonna take up some space. Here's why. I have an aerobic uh, septic system at my property and pretty much how an aerobic system works is that when somebody flushes their waste, it goes you know into the, the big septic tank, which is at a certain designated spot on the property. That septic tank has sprinklers that are in a designated area. That space cannot be used for any RV spots. It has to be designated in order for the septic to spray the waste back into the soil. Kind of gross, but it's actually a beneficial thing for the ground to spray the human waste back into the soil. So if you're gonna have a certain type of septic system, it's gonna take up some space. And if you have an aerobic system, it's gonna need to spray back into the environment. Also another thing, another thing to consider is your road. My road is a one-way road. It's about 20 feet in width. And obviously that's gonna go, that's, that goes you know, on a length basis on the property, but it's gonna take up, take up about 20 feet in width of your property. So you need to take that in consideration. If you're gonna have a two-way, it's probably gonna be almost double, right? It's gonna be at least maybe 35, 40 feet in width. So that's gonna eat into some of the space for the RVers. Also, you have to take into consideration if you're gonna put any electric poles out there, you gotta have the space to put the electric pole. It's gotta have uh, some space for the wiring above. That's gonna probably be, I don't know, I'd say in width, maybe like six or seven feet in width, you know, and then it's gonna go lengthwise on your property. So that's something to take into consideration. Also, if you're gonna put a an office out there or some type of facility, that's gonna take up a little bit of space as well. Parking, is each RV spot gonna have some parking? If it is, it's probably gonna be at least, I'd say for a car, anywhere from 10 to 12 feet in width, right? So that's gonna eat into some of your space as well. You have to take into consider, consideration all of these things. Also, your water system, are you gonna have a certain designated spot for your water? If you, if you are, is it gonna be a well? You know, you have to trench those lines as well. That's gonna take up a little bit of space. That could take up, you know, I don't know, I'd say five, six feet in width because you have to have a nice, you know, um, trenched out spot for every lot that you have. So that could eat into some of the space as well. Uh, what else? I mean, those are, you know, some of your main parts of infrastructure. You're gonna have any landscaping out there. If you are, you know, any borders on your road, any of that stuff. So I would say in general terms, you can get about 10 to 15 renters or RV spots out there. I mean, you could probably squeeze more in there, you know, maybe a little bit less, depends on where you're at, you know, and how much space you wanna give them. My RV park really, I accentuate the privacy. So I like to give each renter their own private spot. So I have about roughly, I'd say like, yeah, about 10, 10 RVers per acre out there. I have 10 acres, so I have plenty of space, but you could make more work as well. They might just be closer together, but I would say in general terms, you can expect to get about 10 to 15 per acre. That's general terms though, and like I said before, you have to talk with your local governance because they're really gonna be the dictating force into whether you can get more or less. A lot of it has to do with maybe your septic system and your water system. It varies depending on state to state, but I would say roughly about 10 to 15 RVers per acre. So thanks so much for watching, guys. My name's Nash. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content about RV parks. If you wanna see my pros and cons of starting an RV park, watch this video to the side here. If you wanna see how I started my RV park from scratch, make sure to watch this video to the side here. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.